Hey, this is Rob Unspock, and welcome to another edition of eHeroes. Today's eHero is Chris Mullins, and we're going to talk about conversions. And, you know, she's got this, this great saying, it's great marketing is not enough when, you, when your prospects don't convert. And it's so true. So welcome to the show, Chris, and, and I think this is going to be awesome. I, I think people are going to start to really realize how conversions pay a big impact on their business. Thank you, Rob. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Now, you know, I, I, I was on your website and I was reading one of the blogs and, and um, you know, one of the blogs I think was titled The H Word. And many people don't realize what the H Word is or maybe they're thinking, oh, what, what, where's he going with this? But the H Word is, and you can fill us in. Yeah, being put on hold. So it's it's all about the telephone, telephone communications and relationships. And when you go ahead and you put people on hold and what that does to the beginning of your relationship, um, you know, these days we're just using automation and we're not using real people anymore. We're not having real communications and conversations and the relationship is a breakdown. There's no experience. We're not delivering the Ritz Carlton experience. We're just putting people on hold. And, um, that really changes the dynamic of the relationship. While they're on hold, they're trying to decide if they even like you anymore, let alone if they're going to stay on hold. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and some of these big companies like Comcast, AT&T, they could really learn a lesson. And you know, the other day I was on hold with Comcast for an hour. And I was like, why am I even, I mean, granted, I put my headphones on, and I was doing other work, but why do people put up with this stuff? I mean, th there's no call for it. Yeah, it, it, there, you know, there's, there's no need to have to go to that direction. I know the companies get bigger, but um, what, what's happening is you're focusing on yourself. So you're being more internally focused than externally focused. So internally focused means you're thinking about me, 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 my company. You know, it's, it's easier and better to go automated because you're thinking about you internally versus externally, the, the prospect and the client, you're forgetting about them. Mm -hmm. And so the human touch is what's missing in communication today. I mean, everywhere, all over, um, everything is about communications. And um, people stay on hold because they have to get their internet working again, mm -hmm. right? Because there is no other way for them to do it. So they're forced to do it, but it doesn't mean that they're, they have emotional currency with your company. It means that they, they don't like you, they don't like the service, they don't like the way that they're being handled by being put on hold, but they're forced um, to, to do that, or they're just not going to get their, their internet working again. Yeah, and, and I, I feel that it's, it's, it's a huge contention for people because they, they either do it uh, to try to voice their, their displeasure, or they don't do it and hope that you know, somehow it gets magically fixed. And, um, you know, these companies know that they, they figure, Hey, if we can get, get these people on hold, they'll eventually just drop the call. Yeah. I, I, I say to all the companies out there, regardless of what kind of business you're in, regardless of the size of the business that you are, is if you can go back to having humans handling the call, you know, a good old fashioned receptionist at the very beginning, handling the call and then going ahead and taking care of transferring the call and doing trust transfers from there. Mm -hmm. um, however you need to do it in your company, you know, you, you will far exceed the expectations of your prospects and your clients, mm -hmm. and you will win more than your competition every time over and over again. Right. You know, I, and I notice a lot of websites now are going to, they're using services where, you know, click here to chat with our online service. Yeah. And the problem with those is that it's usually a third party that doesn't understand the dynamic of your company. And so you're asking these questions to the people who don't understand and they're keeping you on these chats. Well, why not just tell them to pick up the phone and call the office? Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, that, that's all we're doing is we're looking for ways to be internally focused. So, and, and it's also the new shiny object, whatever it is. So whatever that shiny object is, if it's chat, that's what everybody's going to do because everybody else is doing it. And we're not communicating with our prospects and our clients and we're losing business. 
Mm -hmm. So we're losing the opportunity to bring in more business and we're losing the opportunity to build it a more trusting and secure relationship with our client. And eventually they'll leave and they'll go to the competition and they're certainly not going to refer you at uh, the chats there. You know, one thing that you should write down is inspect what you expect. Mm -hmm. So when you have a chat service, don't just assume that the chat service is doing everything that you want them to do because they're just a service that you're outsourcing to. Just like when you outsource your calls to answering services and call centers, they have, they have a bunch of other clients. They don't, they're not really focused on just you. So you need to do mystery chats, for example, to check up and see how are they handling those chats, your prospects and your clients, and at least monitor them and inspect them and coach them and give them scripts that you want them to use and at least you know, take responsibility for what's going to happen. What's, how are we going to convert this prospect to a client? Let's say, for example, with the chat example and also the telephone example. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've written a few scripts for my clients for their chat services. And I'm surprised that, you know, they, they, the chat services are like, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll follow the script. A month later, they're not following the script at all. Yeah. yeah. And, well, and, go ahead. No, and 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 the, the clients paying for all these chats that, you know, are not are not convertible. Yeah. It. But the, but the main the main issue is that you really want to focus on is inspect what you expect. It's really your responsibility to check up on the chat service. Mm -hmm. I, you have to look at the chat service or the answering service or the call center is just an extension of your business, your law firm, your medical practice, you know, your insurance company, whatever business you're in, they're just, they're part of your team. They're just at a different location. Mm -hmm. And so you have to train them. You have to monitor, you have to coach them. You have to hold them accountable. Otherwise there's no sense in spending your money to use that service because you're just, you're losing business. You're losing um, relationship currency and the emotional currency of your clients and your prospects. Right. You know, and, and for those that are out there, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in picking up the phone and talking yeah. to people and, and getting them off the chat and into a conversation that you can actually physically talk to them is better. And, and I know that automation right now is the big keyword. Um, and, and we're getting these, you know, Facebook chats into our, into our uh, websites and you're using many chat or whatever yeah. automation. It's still, you're, you're, you're taking away that human voice, that human connection. You know, if I get someone nice on the phone, I'm going to pick up the phone and, and, and chat with them and help them out. But with automation, I don't know who they are. Yeah. I mean, the other thing too, is think about yourself. So all of you, regardless of the business you're in or the size of the business that you have, you're all consumers mm -hmm. and you all have had these horrific experiences, you know, e even maybe daily when you're trying to take care of something, whether it's for your business or for your own personal needs. And you know what that feels like, you know, that, that anger and frustration that you have, you know what it's like and you know how you feel about that business. It's, it's no different. That's how they feel about your business, mm -hmm. whether it's the telephone that you're using, you know, for automation or chat or all these other automation vehicles that you have. That's what they're thinking about you. That's how they feel. We have to go back to the good old fashioned days, but also we want to act more like the Ritz Carlton and just give an amazing experience from the moment you say hello. Mm -hmm. It's like the movie, you know, um, Jerry Maguire, you had me from hello. That's what you want to do. That's where you want to be. And it's also a better experience for your team. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and, you know, the whole concept of dialing for dollars. I mean, you got to use the phone. You got to implement this device into your business and not just using it for texting or, or social media. I mean, you have to actually talk to people nowadays. And it's, it's a hard concept because we're, we're, we're so ingrained now into social media being behind, you know, the screen where people are like, wow, I don't want to talk. Do I, do I really need to talk to that person? Yes, you do. Yeah. You know, the other thing too is the way you want to look at it is 
the, the consumer, the, the prospect, the client that's calling your, your office, they didn't say to themselves, um, I think I'm going to call today uh, because I know for sure I'm going to go through an automation process and I just can't wait. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not, that was not on their mind. But when they decide to call you, they've been thinking about calling you for days, weeks, months, years, depending on the business you're in. Mm -hmm. And then something happened that day, at that moment, at that time, in their world, in their universe, that got them to say, I can't take it anymore. I have to make the phone call and get the help I need. So they, they're ready to talk to a human. They don't want to go through this whole automation process. You would make your relationships much more, much tighter with your customers and you would convert more if you start using the human touch and, and be externally focused, more focused on the customer and prospect than you are on you and your efficiency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, most of your business now, uh, I believe is, is the legal arena. So how did you go from, you know, <laughs> in, into that field? Yeah. Yeah. So we've worked with all kinds of businesses. So anything that I share with you today applies to every business. It's, it's absolutely transferable. Um, and you know, before I started my own business, I was in the newspaper business. I worked in the newspaper business for 10 years and I was a receptionist and then I worked in inside sales and then I worked in the call center and I worked my way up to publisher of 21 newspapers. And then one day I got this bright idea because I was, had a really great reputation in the newspaper industry that I'm going to start my own business. So I did a cold turkey, which I don't re recommend that you do. I didn't have a business plan or anything. I just kind of did a cold turkey. And I was, my clients were newspapers, teaching them to do a better job on the phone with in, inbound phone sales and outbound phone sales, because that was what I was doing for my job. And newspapers, I just couldn't get them to, to be clients. They just, they just didn't get it. So when the internet became so popular, and, and that's how long ago I've been doing my own business, I used to get clients like Blue Cross Blue Shield and the airlines and the casinos and all kinds of big corporate clients. And um, I used to teach them the phone sales for in, inbound sales and outbound sales. And all of these companies that I work with, and I used to communicate with the CEOs, they all already had uh, recording systems in place. Mm -hmm. So they were already recording their prospect calls, but none of them were listening to the phone calls. And so at one point I got to the point where I said, you know, I'm at a crossroads. I can't teach you anything else because the missing key is for you to listen to your phone calls. And we call that RMFD, record, monitor, feedback daily. And if you do that one thing, if you inspect what you expect and you tell your team what they're doing that's great and you tell them what the opportunities are, you'll convert more. But nobody would just get around to listening to the calls. So I went to Radio Shack. I bought a, a, a cassette player, some cassettes, and an adapter for my phone. And I asked those Radio Shack geeks that are very, very smart, how do I record a phone call? And they showed me on the spot. And I called my house and recorded the call. And so there's how my business went from just teaching phone sales training to actually doing mystery shopping, playing prospect, um, recording the calls for our clients, and then doing the training to help them fix the problem areas um, because they weren't listening to their calls. So I was going to send them mystery calls. So that's kind of how it began. You know, I, I, I really like that story about Radio Shack because that's back in the, like the early 90s. I did the same. I, <laughs> I bought a recorder. I, I started recording phone calls that I would have with, with clients or, or with other entrepreneurs, which, you know, kind of, you know, now I'm doing it on video, but, um, you know, it, it now radio shacks out of business. Basically you can't, I don't think yeah. there's any of them around, but you know, here you are, you're, you're teaching all this, this great stuff to these great companies, but some of them still don't want to empower they're call takers. So you get on the phone, you ask them a question. Oh, so, sir, I don't know the answer. Let me bounce you to somebody else. Well, then you get to six or seven people and you've already repeated all the information and you know, people are getting frustrated. I think they just need to give that empowerment to that first person. Yeah. Yeah. Th th that's all they really need to do. I mean, we, we work with intake specialists 
which are inbound sales people. Um, they, they're taking all the prospect phone calls and um, we help to organize, you know, and where all the calls are gonna go and who's gonna handle those calls. But we design a script for them to use and we don't want people to sound scripted, not at all. And then they also use their qualifying questions. So if they're provided qualifying questions, which is a script in and of itself, mm -hmm. but it's designed internally, your business designs what the qualifying questions are for a prospect. And then they have a relationship sales conversion script, which is what we provide. And then they have the proper training, which you can do yourself easily. You can set up your own internal training system and they get all of that. Then you're, you're, you just, you can't lose because they're getting everything that they need. They know it's working. They know what's not working. And the thing is you need to listen to the calls because your team, they're, they're amazing people. So these intake specialists, for example, that are handling calls every day, all day long. We call them heroes, the unsung heroes of law firms worldwide. And we do that because the calls that they handle are from people that need help, that have had a horrific, traumatic experience. Their husband just died. You know, um, their, their mother's head was decapitated. Their, somebody else's, I mean, this, this is what they're hearing on the phone. And they don't have crisis management training. And they also hear things like, I want to commit suicide. So these are just customer service people that have a little customer service background, a sales background, and being taught on how to handle these calls. So you need to see what kind of calls they're handling because they're taking on the trauma. And they need the proper coaching and training to get through those calls, not just to convert them, but to get through them themselves and to take care of themselves as well as take care of the prospect and the client. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, I think one of the biggest problems, the inability of some of these companies to train their callers. They just think, Hey, you want to have a job? You want to be in the call center? Great. Great. We'll, we'll put you in here. You just feel calls all day long. It's not a big deal. Yeah. The problem is, is that they, they have no idea, no concept of what the company actually does. And, um, so you, you know, a lot of times, you know, and, and I'll use Comcast because, you know, they're, they're right now, they're the bane of my existence. I mean, every other day I'm calling them for something. Uh. When you call them for a tech support, it goes to India. Well, they've already have, you know, there's a communication gap right there. And then these people want to patronize you. And, you know, by the time you get off the phone, you feel like you've been beaten down. That's yeah. not how, that's not how it should be, you know, and, and I know a lot of companies right now are starting to eliminate their call centers and they're bringing everything back in house. They're retraining them. You know, they're, they're, they have dedicated live people. Uh, and, and they're starting to be they're, I think they're starting to be more responsive to the needs of the consumer. That's the way to do it is bring everything in house. I mean, this is your, the, you're, you're spending thousands and thousands and thousands and maybe even millions of dollars on marketing mm -hmm. to get leads to opt in to your universe. You need to control those leads. I mean, cause that's, that's, that's money that you've spent. They're your leads. You don't want to outsource that to somebody else that doesn't understand your business or get your business. I mean, you're basically giving them all of, all of your money and mm -hmm. trusting that they're going to handle it and just feeling great because you're doing the right thing by the marketing. Well, the whole process is sales and marketing and keeping it in house. Just create your own internal call center and you can trust that everything will be taken care of with your leads, provide the right training. If you said to me right now, Chris, what's the single most important thing I need to do in my business to improve conversion immediately? I would tell you RMFD, record, monitor, feedback daily. If you just did that one thing, check the laws for recording calls in your state. But if you just did that one thing, only that one thing, record, monitor feedback daily, your conversion would improve immensely. And so wouldn't the quality of your calls and the knowledge that you have of how your team handles calls, who your team really is, and, and your clients and your prospects and who they really are and what they really want. You know, and I just wrote a book back in uh, January. It was released called Rob versus the Scammers. And it was all about my adventures dealing with 
you know, these Visa, MasterCard, and all these other, you know, digital scammers that are calling people daily. Yes. And I know that's a big contention for a lot of, especially law firms, you know, because I, I get the calls all the time. You know, uh, it, it just jams up their their daily calls. And I understand the need to distance yourself from the scam calls versus the real calls. Sometimes you don't know the difference. But I, even one of my clients had their number spoofed and it was sent out, you know, and uh, people were like, well, why are you calling me? Why are you you're trying to sell me this stuff? And, you know, so we basically had to rewrite a script just to handle, <laughs> you know, all that, those spoof calls. And it, it's just, it's maddening sometimes because you don't know who's calling, but you still have to be nice when you pick up that phone. And, um, you know, some of the law firms are like, I, I, how do I sue these people? Yeah. You, you know, it, it's, you can't. But Look, what, you, 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 what you could do is you could tell your team this. You can just tell them that those are training calls for you. <laughs> those, those are your training calls. If you can get those calls nailed and you're still smiling on those calls and you're following your script and everything, then that's a training call. So the next call, when it's a real call, you're going to nail it. Right. Well, let's talk about your book. I mean, I, I just mentioned my book a little bit, but I, I want to hear about yours. Yeah. So the most recent book I wrote is um, Great Marketing is Not Enough if Your Prospects Don't Convert. And it, it's, it talks exactly about what the title says. Um, it talks about, you know, the intake departments at law firms. It talks about inbound sales calls, outbound sales calls, scripting. Um, it speaks a lot to the CEO and the managing partners and really trying to help you and guide you through the whole process of a call center and an intake team. So if you're interested in conversion and, and marketing and sales and bringing back you know, the human touch, it's a great book for you. It's, a, it's an easy read. Um, another book that I have that um, I wrote before this one is Intake Specialists, The Unsung Heroes of Law Firms Worldwide. And that book, and we mean it when we say that title, because we listen to thousands of real prospect call recordings. We hear what your team is going through. So we mean it. And that book there is really great for the CEO, the managing partner, but also your intake specialist, because we have, just like Chicken Soup for the Soul, they have different authors and writing stories in there. We have different intake specialist stories Mm. on what they deal with every day and how they combat that every day in that book. So that would be a really, a really great book too. But um, think of it this way, the intake specialists, the, the receptionist, the main people that are handling your prospect calls, you don't have a business if you don't have those people on your team. I mean, there's really no need to have a business to have another lawyer to have a paralegal or whatever your business is and to, and to have a business if you don't have those people on your team. So you might as well treat them like gold. Yeah, exactly. You know, how can people reach out to you? You know what? The best thing to do is, is go to our website, um, which is law firm conversions. That's plural.com. So law firm conversions.com. Just go there. And the really neat thing there is um, you can, uh, schedule a free mystery call. So it's addressed to attorneys because it's our law firm um, website, but anybody can go there and just fill out the questionnaire as it pertains to your business and you'll still get a free mystery call. You'll get a free mystery call and then a debrief with me personally. I'll play that mystery call for you over the phone to, to the attorney and I'll tell you what worked. I'll tell you what the opportunities are and I will tell you exactly what you need to do to fix any problem areas and you can go fix them. Wow. Now your books, you can get them on your website or you can get them on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. You can get them right on the website. Just go to the website, lawfirmconversions.com and you'll see the book right there. Um, and certainly Amazon, you can do the same exact thing. Absolutely. Yeah, this is, this is great stuff. And, and really? for all the, the listeners out there, you know, please go to Chris's uh, website and get her books because you know, we're only covering a small step here in, in, in the 20 minutes or so that, that the podcast is, is going. But, you know, you'll learn a lot more by deep diving into our books, going to our website, 
you'll learn to you know use these devices so much better because they're not just for social media or texting but right. for actually calling people uh, yeah. and, and and the whole the, the name of the game is conversion you know you want to boost your sales you want to get you know more out of your business you have to learn how to answer these things so i mean th thank you chris for being you know on the podcast and for like i said for the listeners please you know check out chris's materials get her books you know go to her website and and you know if you're a lawyer hire her hire her firm i mean yeah granny hire me but hire her because she's right. written the books about it so uh again you know uh, any last words that you want to share chris i think the most important thing is really rmfd record monitor feedback daily just do that one thing figure that one thing out i'm not giving you a list of things implement that and you will be amazed at the information that you get and how much more you convert. And that's what makes her an e-hero. So stick around for future episodes and I'll see you guys, talk to you guys later. All right, thank you. See you, Chris. Bye-bye.